Now before I start this video off, I would just like to address the reason for why I'm making this type of video. Unfortunately with the type of video it is, I know it's going to get some type of views and that isn't the reason for why I'm making this video. The main reason for why I'm making this video is this person has been acting really out of place on this platform lately. And not only do I see that, many other people see that too. So I want to bring this situation into light. And I want to show people that acting a certain way at a certain level of exposure is just not right. I'm sure that if you were following someone that was a racist, disrespectful, hypocritical, lying manipulator and you didn't know about it, you would want to know. On to the video. If you haven't already heard of a YouTuber that goes by the name of Screwface John, he is a reactor slash rapper that has been stirring a lot and I mean a lot of shit lately on the internet and has just been acting massively out of place man. You probably mainly only know him from the whole Dax situation that he had with Dax about Dax not handing up his end of the bargain and the whole I'm not Dax diss track and it's kind of funny because I used to feel very bad for Screwface John and what Dax did to him. Come to find out he is no better than Dax and here's why he's no better than Dax. So it all started out with the whole Crypt YouTube Cypher Volume 1 situation. And if you don't know what the situation was, it was behind the scenes, Crypt was having a lot of trouble with the whole YouTube Cypher Volume 1 situation with a lot of people on that Cypher, if you aren't aware of this situation. Now, mind you, I'm going to show receipts and screenshots throughout the whole video to back up my statement and claims and everything in this video. So don't worry about that. Now, behind the scenes, Crypt is having problems with people saying that there's not enough black people on the Cypher and... and People were just getting jealous that they weren't on it and just stuff like that. Come to find out that behind the scenes all along, it was Screwface John that had a problem with that cypher. Now, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it Screwface John who reacted like this in the cypher? That's a throwback. That's a bar. <laughs> That's a bar, son. That's ma trying to seize the moment like an epileptic seize seizure seizure the moment like an epileptic he's the ah this is dope this is dope but then behind the scenes he's posting comments like this so pretty much he's saying that there's too many white people on cypher volume one so screwface jean not only in the public shows that he thinks youtube cypher volume one was a good record this is dope this is dope behind the scenes he's saying there's a white bias on YouTube. Now to me that kind of sounds very racist. For a person who says keep it a buck, who claims to keep things real per se, that is a load of fucking bullshit. So in the screenshot he says I'ma take a break from white rappers. This shit is getting gross. Something needs to be said. Look at the YouTube cipher. So not only does he have a problem with white people being on the cipher, he's the Ah! This is dope. This is dope. He has a problem with there not being enough black people on the cypher. Not that long ago, he also tweeted out this bullshit where he says, I'm just gonna say this. Black rappers on YouTube are wildly underrepresented and do not get the same looks as others. If you hate me for saying that, I hate you for not wanting to hear it. And then someone responds, I hate you for not wanting to hear it. Do you forget there are unrepresented white rappers? I guess if I'm a rapper, I like hates me for an opinion that isn't his that I'm unsubbing and unfollowing. Done with your shit, Screw. Dax has more morals than you. That pretty much explains how Screw is right off the bat. So not only is he complaining that there's too many white people on the cypher, not only is he complaining that there's not enough black people on the cypher, then on the second cypher, he got a longer verse on that second cypher and was on the cypher twice, and there were more black people on the cypher. That, my friend, shows me that you not only manipulated Crypt to be on the cypher again and longer, that you're a racist piece of shit because you're saying that there's a white bias on YouTube. It's the same shit with white people or anyone. If I said as a white person, there's too many black people on the cypher, that shit wouldn't slide with anyone. Why does it that Screw says there's too many white people on the cypher, that shit slides. That shit doesn't slide. If you want racism to stop, as a black person yourself, you should stop bringing up race and bringing race into everything. Because if you want racism to stop, that is not the way to go about it. As a white person myself, I find that fucked up and racist a shit. Now I don't know about you but for me personally I wouldn't want to follow someone as racist as that. He's pretty much another Lord Jamal. That my friend does not slide in the YouTube community at all or shouldn't slide for anyone. Another thing that leads me to believe that Screwface Jean is racist is because there's just many clips of him mentioning stuff about racism. Don't ask me about hunger some my people defeating the boat. Try to flip it let's get wicked. They say you were racist because you want representation of people the color your faces. The hood doesn't listen to him. That is a fact. 
as of today, just like the hood doesn't listen to Lord Jamar, they don't listen to Eminem. How you don't see no separation when the segregation in your motherfucking teeth? How you don't see no separation when the segregation in your motherfucking teeth? I lived with somebody who was white from the Midwest, wasn't from the South, but had a lot of family from the South. Let me tell you, this white guy, I'm pretty sure hated white people. Not 100% sure, but I'm about 87% sure he hated white people. I don't know why, but he did. So it don't mean you're racist by having the rebel flag. You guys have to understand that to African Americans especially, that's a symbol of oppression. All right, so don't get this twisted, but just because I showed these clips, it doesn't mean that I think he's being racist in all of them. The reason for which I showed these clips is because it goes to show how much he brings race into things and how much he has this race mentality and how he makes everything about race per se. Showing these clips mixed with a lot of other things that he does just goes to show that he has that race mentality to him. And there's also that whole Upchurch deal where he pulled the race card on Upchurch and then brings race into the situation and then mentions a whole lot of racist bullshit. I said I don't work with white people like that statement will work but I ain't never seen you put a black male on the verse with this dirt you can get black men with this verse black skin black hoodie now I'm in this habitat this man tried to tell me racism is a myth you know what privilege is thinking racism don't exist trick that's like me saying your gap don't exist so like half of your fans ain't wishing that blacks don't exist these are facts little bitch little grip but I'm shooting back doctor put his ass on white sheets he probably used it ass. he said I cannot be racist that's just some wax shit my producers are black men, my girlfriend is Latin. And he almost had me too until I asked this. Wait, didn't Donna Sterling have a black chick? He like, I ain't racist, I got one fucking black friend. American History X, he tried to harm me, but this time the white boy's teeth is on the concrete. How you don't see no separation when the segregation in your motherfucking teeth? Now doesn't that show that he's a lot like Lord Jamal himself? Now another thing I would like to bring up in this situation is the whole blind sight and screw face John supposedly beef. The reason for why Blindsight started a diss on Screwface Jean was because there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes between him and Screwface Jean. Blindsight put it in the description of his video, which says, before you all start going all crazy, I stopped rocking with Screw after the church ordeal and later found out about the trash talking about some of the rappers on YouTube Cypher Volume 1. So like I mentioned, the whole YouTube Cypher stuff, behind the scenes, he was trash talking about the people on the Cypher itself. I won't even get into that because how Screw went about it was all wrong. I'm all for battle rap and that's all it should be, period. Now he later goes on to mention the fact that he knows he might be reaching with some of the clips that he added in the video. He says that in his whole paragraph. What Screw does here is even more disrespectful than anything. He ended up trying to spin and manipulate the situation with Blindsight, saying that he's trying to reach. This is what these people do, man. I think y'all know what he's doing. So you really reaching? I want everybody who believed that those were about him, pull up. If anybody is watching this and thinks that was a diss, welcome to Reach Academy. You're, you're doing great here. Uh, you're flying with you you're, you're passing your class with fine colors oh people keep hitting me up saying this guy wrote a diss song about you and that guy wrote a diss song about you and when are you gonna respond and all i gotta say is new video friday here's what i think and this is what my gonna be gonna be my problem with this song tom knows i wasn't dissing him. tom knows i wasn't going at him he knows that we've talked about it. but do i think that's gonna stop Tom from you using this moment to drop a song. The reaching, people want there to be like drama or entertainment no matter what, whether it's with you yeah. or without you. Which Blindsight himself even said in the description of this video. But I feel like he has been sneak dissing me and you'll see in the clips and trust me, I know I could be wrong, but I'm going with my gut. And when he called out everyone on his crisis track, I felt like this is either I bark or tuck my tail. So challenge accepted. He also goes on to mention is that he actually likes Screw's music and he used to be a fan of Screw. So what Screw does is he takes this and he goes, I'm gonna manipulate the situation and also says that he's reaching and being fake. I don't know about you, but I could spin the same bullshit on you, Screw. Weren't you showing love to Blindsight here on the YouTube side for volume one? The blind guy can rap, putting in work on the track. So I can be the one that <laughs> the blind guy can rap. Back. Um... That was dope. I like the little story he was telling. But then later on, go to say that there were too many white people on the cypher and complained about it here. That to me seems like some fake bullshit. Coming from someone who tends to say it on his videos a lot, I'm not one for painting a narrative. So you know what I'm not gonna allow? I'm not gonna allow people to uh, paint this narrative 
that may not be true. Here's the definition of bully. A person who have bewitchedly seeks to harm or intimidate those whom they perceive as vulnerable. So not only is Blindsight vulnerable in this situation, because Screw has a lot more of a bigger audience, he manipulates and twists the situation and goes to say that Blindsight is faking being blind. Blindsight, you have an actual problem. You're not blind whatsoever. You throw around the word sociopath, like you know it, you, you clearly don't know what that means. He's not actually blind. He has what he calls pinhole vision. This is the part that's offensive about that. This man has the vis enough vision to write music, but he calls himself blind. Just someone who has bad vision and says you're blind. pretend to be blind so people give you sympathy. Which doesn't make sense because Screw clearly knows that Blindsight is actually blind due to him saying this. Nothing but a sound con. He blind. He blind. That's what, that's Blindsight is blind so he can't even write. And due to Screwface's best friend Crypt verifying that he is in fact actually blind. Blante is an extremely close friend of mine and he is 95% blind. He has a walking cane. You can see it in some clips of his section of this video. Uh, but basically the way he sees, he says it's like looking through a straw. He's, he's blind, okay? He is blind. Blindsight has a condition known as retinitis pigmentosa. And retinitis pigmentosa is a group of rare genetic disorders that involve a breakdown and loss of cells in the retina, which is the light sensitive tissue that lines the back of the eye. Common symptoms include difficulty seeing at night, loss of side peripheral vision, and if someone has vision worse than 2200 vision, they are in fact considered blind. So it doesn't make sense that you are trying to spin this fake narrative that Blindsight isn't actually blind when your friend verifies that Blindsight is blind and then go on to say you're going to slap him when you see him. For lying to the fans and for lying to the people, and for pretending, just being a liar and being dishonest, that's why you're getting slapped. So if I see you, just know that. This is what bullying a blind person looks like. And it was all caught on camera. A visually impaired teenager taking the punches. Watch as an alleged bully appears to attack a fellow student who police say is visually impaired. And this is what Screwface John himself said he would do to Blindsight. It's funny how you say in your Crisis remix, hypocrites are some silly shit. Ah, hypocrites are some silly shit. Yeah. I'm not an idiot. I ain't know what it really is. And then you go on to mention how Blindsight doesn't even know what sociopath means when you don't even know what the word blind means. You don't even know that being blind is a spectrum. It's funny how you say hypocrites are some silly shit where you're always saying one thing but then going on your back with another thing. I'm not gonna allow people to uh, paint this narrative that may not be true. Blindsight, you have an actual problem. You're not blind whatsoever. You're nothing but a sound con. He blind. He blind. That's what, that's blindsight is blind so he can't even write. Blindsight doesn't call himself blind. He is legally blind. Under the law, he is blind. To say to your fans that he's faking being blind when you clearly know the man is blind himself, I don't paint any narratives. You painted a narrative on Blindsight, got your fans to hate and attack on him saying he's faking being blind. And you know he's blind, yet you apparently don't paint fake narratives, right? hypocritical. So not only is Screw racist because he claims that there's a white bias on YouTube and that black people are unrepresented, not only does he manipulate his audience and manipulate his friends and spin a fake narrative and bully, he bullies a blind man. Another thing that I would like to mention that is pretty fucked up is this whole Cloud9 situation. If you guys aren't aware about the situation with Dax, Screw pretty much paid Dax for a service to not only feature on a song and promote his song, but to shoot a music video as well. And Dax didn't end up holding his end of the bargain, which is fair enough. I would understand why you could be annoyed and pissed off about that. Right here is where you should have said all the stuff you're about to say that makes what you said a lie. But there's a reason why in January 5th, I asked you specifically for a service. This is the game that rappers that are bigger than you do. You'll pay exactly what they ask for and then they'll double back. But then come to find out that Screwface is doing this himself with the whole Cloud9 incident is pretty fucked up. So pretty much what happened with Cloud9 is Cloud9 hits him up for some promotion on a video, for a reaction video. Prior to this, he's done a reaction to Cloud9 before. I think I'm gonna open up 
open the gates. If you ain't know about Cloud9, then I'm gonna show you the great. Got a bad bitch with a bad Ooh, Hold on, hold on. And Screw says, yeah, yada, yada, he'll do it. So he sends some money and Screw says he'll do it this time in this day. And then later on, he ends up not holding up his end of the bargain. And during the reaction, when he states he would do the reaction, he gives his money back and then he ends up telling him he doesn't care for the music like that. What does that have to do with anything? I never meant no disrespect until you show me disrespect. Trying to slow down on my promo, you homo, I bet. Fucking old man who just sit in the basement. Then double up on my price on my reactions, you basic. If I'm paying that much, you think that he'd have his own station. If you get paid like that, then why don't I see way more inflation? If you're going to take money from someone for a certain amount of time and say you're going to do a service and then later on don't actually end up holding up your end of the bargain and doing that service, whether you gave the money back or not, that to me makes you no better than Dax whatsoever. And the reason why that makes you no better than Dax is for the fact that you didn't hold up your end of a service. You said one thing and then went with another thing. But there's a reason why in January 5th, I asked you specifically for a service. This is the game that rappers that are bigger than you do. You'll pay exactly what they asked for and then they'll double back. Cloud9, in the time that you mentioned that you were gonna do this reaction and promo for him, he could have done something else with his time. Exactly how you mentioned that you could have done something else with your money and your time with the whole Dax situation. I could have paid for a cartoon to be made, put that money behind a bigger push if I would have known you weren't gonna do that. That's the issue. Cloud9 could have done the same shit. Yet you were complaining to Dax for doing the exact same thing to you. Why would he go? And I was mad. I come from hip hop. I come from battle rap. So I've never been disrespected like that. So I've never been disrespected like that. Disrespected like that. You literally sound like a 40 year old meth head. Sounds like you drink ashtrays is what it sounds like. Just being a liar and being dishonest. That's why you're getting slapped. So if I see you, just know that. For someone who claims to be real and keep it a buck, to base his whole channel off of not being like Dax and constantly throw shade on Dax, this is one of the most hypocritical things I've ever seen Screwface John do. And not only that, Cloud9 also goes to mention that Screw ends up doubling up his reaction price from what it originally was. Then double up on my price on my reactions, you basic. And I'm not the only one that feels this way with the Cloud9 incident, because there are many other people who feel this way too. Y'all know, y'all remember when we had Dax and, and Screw going at it and Screw was upset about, you know, Dax not carrying in or carrying out his end of the bargain. No, it seemed like the same situation with Cloud9 and Screw. Ironically enough, the same shit he was getting on Dax about, about paying for services and Dax not coming through on his end of the, you know, bargain and shit. <laughs> same situation. So it kind of was like, whoa. But so Screw is conning people out of money now? Is he... Is he turning into da uh, Dax or, you know, what's going on here? I, I, I don't, and I don't even know why, why you're getting mad because you said you would do this at this time and you got paid for doing it at this time but you didn't do it. What you said about Dax is what you see when you look into the mirror, that's a fact. And this is a similar thing he did to Laid Back, by the way, where he promised a feature on a song with Laid Back and never delivered on that promise as well. This goes to show that not only is Screw a hypocrite because he's doing exactly what Dax did to him, he's racist because he thinks there's a white bias on YouTube. He's manipulating his friends to be on the side for multiple times and he's bullying blind people. So apart from the racism and the bullying and the manipulation, there are also a lot of small things on the side that Screwface himself does and claims that he is, yet contradicts himself all the time. Another funny thing is how he tends to talk about clout chasing in a negative way, but then in another clip, he talks about clout chasing in the sense of stop giving clout chasing this negative term, everyone's clout chasing. Everybody says everything is clout chasing. Not everything is clout chasing, but he knows I wasn't talking about it. That's the part. Listen, this Clyde chasing thing needs to stop. Just the word in itself needs to die. Cloud chasing has literally put people in jail. It's like it's literally ending people's lives in Chicago. Ah, hypocrites are some silly shit. Yeah, you have used the term clout chasing in a negative way so many freaking times on your channel. You used it with the whole blind sight situation saying he was clout chasing, and you've mentioned it in a lot of other instances calling out people for just per se clout chasing, which doesn't make sense. Because then you go on to say this about clout chasing being painted in a negative way, but then calling out other people's for clout chasing. Bro, you do tons of remix 
mixes and call out people all the time. You did a track on KSI when all that KSI drama stuff happened. You mentioned Eminem and Dax all the freaking time. You clickbait your videos like any other reaction channel does, including myself. You've literally built your name off of quote unquote clout chasing. So it doesn't make sense that you're going to call out others for clout chasing, then go back on your word and say people got to stop using the term clout chasing. You're contradicting yourself there. All right, so one other thing I want to quickly mention up and bring in this video is the fact that me and Screw ourselves has actually had a conversation together. Now this is not really very important, so I won't really show the whole conversation. But basically what happened is I hit Screw up before doing this video because I wanted to show him what he's doing and I wanted to make him aware of what he's doing and tell him that people are going to go for his neck people are going to disrespect him and people are going to make claims about him right he pretty much responds with i'm too small you're bigger than me you're just an up-and-comer you don't understand and he responds with everyone that is hating on him everyone that is criticizing for how he acts or how he is he pushes them aside as just dax fans this is disrespectful as shit anyone who has a problem with him or is criticizing anything about him he will immediately push you aside as a dax fan and I go to tell him that no, there's so much proof that it's more than just Dax fans, that you fans literally are seeing the same thing, but he still wants to brush you guys off as just Dax fans, which is very disrespectful and shows he cannot take criticism and he'll just push anything aside for what he believes. He also disrespects someone else in the DMs, which I won't mention their name, that he found out that was going to do a podcast on him and literally said that he has screenshots and will literally expose him. He goes into people's DMs and disrespects Specs them if he is not happy with something that they have to say about him. That's fucked up. Try to kill me with screenshots. Bitch, I survived situations you actually could be shot. Try to kill me with screenshots. How can you have this disregard comment section mentality when the comment section is a part of YouTube? I get disregarding your hate and disregarding anyone who's just trying to hate you. But when I tell you, I see fans literally telling you something and you go out of your way to just disregard them fans that are actually giving you feedback and as a fan that want to see you grow and succeed, you're disregarding them as a Dax fan. That's some disrespectful shit right there. So what this shows me is he has a massive ego and he cannot take criticism or feedback at all. His ego gets to him too much. He calls out all these other people like Upchurch that he has nothing to do with and tells his fans that you guys are just clout chasers whenever you're against him, but then he's clout chasing himself. Himself. This is a major contradiction. So just to sum everything up, Screw manipulates his friend to be on the cipher because there's not enough black people on the cipher. He feels like black people are unrepresented and he completely disregards the fact that more than just black people are unrepresented. He disrespects his fans. He bullies a blind man and tells him he's going to slap a blind man and paints a narrative that he's not blind when he is blind. He handles his business the same way that Dax handles his business and what his channel has been based upon and what he preaches with the Dax situation he does himself. He's a racist, he's a liar, he's a manipulator, he's a hypocrite and he's just straight on disrespectful. I don't know about you but personally from someone who used to be a fan and saw all this bullshit that immediately makes me lose all respect for this person. Now Screw grinds hard but a lot of his grinding is working hard to bury his own career. Before you run your own channel into the ground take this into consideration. A lot more people are saying this and not only just me. Thanks for watching. The Hit Brainiac.